What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, Leon Angus. And in this video, we're gonna be going through Evernote. I'm super excited to make this video purely because I use this tool every single day and I'm always trying to recommend it to so many people. So all I ask is that if you enjoy this video at some point, can you smash that like button so this video gets shared amongst YouTube by the algorithm and then it can potentially rank number one, okay? We want this to be the number one video on YouTube for Evernote, so make sure you bear that in mind when you're watching this video. All right, so what we're gonna go through today is exactly how much the tool costs, how it can benefit you, and all the different functionalities and things that it just does, okay? So I'm gonna take you through absolutely everything that this tool does. We're gonna go through all the ins and outs, so make sure you stay tuned. What we're gonna do is get onto the computer right now, and I'm gonna take you through all of that. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the pricing of Evernote. So there's different plans and what's so good about it is they give you quite a lot on the free plan that you get. So you don't have to particularly pay any money to even use quite a lot of the functionalities they provide. And that's what's so good about it. But if we look the basic plan, the popular one is the $4.99 per month one if you're in the UK that might work out to about seven dollars you know in the US and I currently use this uh, this is the one that I use and then you get the Evernote business so that's obviously so you can have like several users on the same account all right so let's have a look at a few of the features so you can see on the basic premium and business so basic being the left and then premium middle and so on so if we take a look at this we can see taking great notes so rich formatting with tables and attachments attachments you get all of that you get collecting web clippings with screenshots from any browser or device you get that on all of them the free version even recording audio notes you get that creating a to-do list with checkboxes taking notes on, with your stylus on mobile phones and highlighting annotating or commenting on images you also get that now capture inspiration attaching pdfs you get that on all versions clip full images image full pages images and text from the web so you can take that down and note that in evernote forwarding e emails to your Evernote account. You can't do that on the free one, but you can on premium and business. Then scan and digitize business cards to create contact notes. You can do that on uh, premium and business, which you would only be using if you're a business anyway. And then annotate PDFs, you can obviously do on those two. If we take a look further, we can see search and find your best notes. You can do that on everything. Uh, create notebooks and tags, which is brilliant. Sort and organize information by date, title, or tag. Search for text images inside, and then search for text in PDFs and docs. So you can do that only on premium and and business and see a version history of your notes premium and business then we've got share with others so this is how you can share your notes with others share a notebook with a, one or more people you can do that on all so that's brilliant you can share it on whatsapp or anything where you need to send it set permissions for editing notes and, and notebooks so you can do that on all versions and share notes with anyone at your company of course you're only going to want to do that if you have a company which you would need the business account then link to google drive files you can do that on the other two connect with email providers like outlook connect with communication tools like slack so I never even knew you could do that. Connect with CRM like Salesforce, okay? And then we've got collaboration spaces for team projects and all of that. This is all business. So a central location for present and past work, permissions-based access to content, a virtual bulletin for what's new across the team, editing notes in real time. So this is currently in beta, which means they're currently testing this. And then as we go down, you've got centralized account administration and user management, which is only on business. The rest are only on business. Single sign-on activity history and business data ownership. These are the limits of the different accounts. So the upload limit is 60 megabytes uh, for the free account, which is still quite a lot because I mean, when you're uploading like just a doc or something like that, you're only using like, you know, maybe 100 kilobytes, 50 kilobytes. It'll take you a long time to use that up. I mean, I had Evernote for about a good two years before I even used up this 60 MB and upgraded the plan. And then we've got 10 gigabytes for the premium, which is brilliant. And then ma maximum note sizes, you can obviously have a larger note just within one single note when you have the premium or business account number of collaboration spaces unlimited number of devices you can use with one account so you can use two devices with the free and these ones are unlimited offline access desktop uh, and mobile for these and then desktop only so one of the best functions that I find uh, most useful on the premium is the offline access because if you're on the tube or you're somewhere where you don't have an internet connection you can actually still note down any notes and then what will 
will happen is it will actually upload it as soon as it connects to the internet in, in the background. And then that will sync across all of your devices as well. So you have unlimited devices that you can uh, synchronize this with. And if I were to do this, like with no internet connection, as soon as the phone gets connection, even if I'm, my phone's like locked or whatever, it will then uh, show up on my desktop and all of the other uh, devices I have it installed on. Customer support access, you obviously get email and live chat with uh, the paid services. So that's absolutely brilliant for the prices that you pay. But let's actually uh, take a look into the tool. Okay, so as you can see, this is the actual <laughs> tool that I use to uh, take down notes for my YouTube videos as well. So I had a few notes here that I was just writing down earlier, which is, you know, a few things of why you should be using Evernote. So specifically, you should be using it for any type of planning and researching just to organize your thoughts like and processes and books, you know, like any kind of information that training courses or anything like that it's a great place to take down some notes because you can actually find those notes and what the benefit of using a digital note service uh, note taking service has is if you know it in a book it's very hard for you to go and find the notes that you've taken down so you could write something uh, remember it for a certain amount of time but then life happened and trying to go back and find that information within your notebooks if you've got like 10 notebooks it's almost impossible to ever find it or it's exposed to being damaged you know if it gets damaged water damaged damaged or fire or anything like that. So with this, it syncs across multiple devices and you've always got access to this information and you can quickly find it by just searching any of your notes, okay? So if I was to search, for example, uh, Savage Affiliates or something like that, which is a course I promote, we can see that all these different notes of different things that I've taken down with Savage Affiliates. So that's very good. So if we take a look at the uh, beginning, you, you have this green tab, which is the new user interface. It's very easy to use. And then you have all of your notes like every single note that you have um, that it defaults onto when you sign on all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you the first step so you can have a create a new note which is very easy to do you give the note a title and whatever else so let's just say example one and then what you can do is you can actually use templates to insert into these yeah so depending on what it is that you want to do is many different templates that you can use so you can actually save your own templates that you create say for example you tweaked one and you had it for your specific circumstance you could then save that and you'd have that in your own tam uh, templates but if we have a look you can see like travel calendars story dashboard we've got character profiles event feedback meeting agenda brainstorming areas of responsibility blog posts so even if you're creating like a blog article or something like that it's very good for that pre-call planners for sales calls support network project budgets event budgets and if we actually go to the left you can see that it segments them so if you wanted creative writing these are the things that you would use marketing and sales we've got specific notes templates for that party planning so budgets party planning checklist so if you had a bunch of things that you needed to brainstorm that's right there or brainstorming sessions and then you can obviously go back to all templates so that's what the templates do and if you actually insert that you can see how it comes out very clear and easy to use and then this will sync across all of your devices and you can go and fill in any information or edit this and then save it to your own templates as well now one of the other things that you can do is if we we create a new note again we can actually change the sizing of the text okay so that's very good if you had a few headings so these examples we could change the size of the text so if I wanted it as a larger header I could uh, do this yeah so this could be a header and then you could do command B or control B on a Mac and you know make it bold or change it to italic you can also do that or underline it as well we can highlight this text as well and then we can put several pieces of text into list format as well so if you wanted to put it with numbers bullets or even tick boxes as well you could also do that and it will cross them out as you do them so which is good for like a checklist kind of thing okay and you have access to I believe six different fonts here so you can change the different fonts to suit you and that will sync across all devices this is indentation text location whether you want it centralized uh, off to the right or left and then one of the newest things that you can now do is you can actually use a short key to uh, do a hyperlink so you can use the actual manual version there so if I wanted to say click get started here and put that and put a link to to a video or something like that I could basically take that link if I was to go to youtube.com or something like that press command K and then paste that link in there and now that's a hyperlink that sits in there so if I ever went off to there you just click continue and it takes you to the link that you've set as the destination so it's very good for all of that You've got like X squared and so on like you know I believe that's probably for equations and then you can strike out information if if you wanted to manually cross things off. So if I wanted to manually cross this off, I'd go
go to insert, you can insert a table, divider, attachment, photo, you can insert checkboxes or code blocks. So if you wanted to put in some, some code like C CSS or something and you know improve it or change it or something like that. And yeah, sorry, to strike it out, what you would have to do is just, it used to be in that tab, but it's now here. So you just click that strike button and that will strike through, okay? What I wanna show you next is the notebooks and how that works. So what we have in Evernote is we have two things. We have stacks, which are like filing cabinets. And then within the filing cabinets, you have different drawers, yeah? So you get to create that and edit that to however you want. And then within your drawers, you have files, just like a filing cabinet. Well, the way this works is you can have like different things that you do. So for example, I do YouTube, I do SEO, which is search engine optimization. I have projects that I'm working on, different things that I'm doing like with investing and course materials of courses I've taken, everything like clients I work with, books I'm reading, everything. So let's just take a look at a book I'm reading, for example. And there's some fantastic things that you can actually do with this. So this is a book that I was reading and then we've got like all the information that I've taken down. But one of the best things is, can you see this here? This was actually taken from the book. So if you go over to your mobile phone and you hover over a, a book, it will actually capture it. Like when you hold a card in front of a, a camera, it will, it will screenshot it and then it converts it into text. So you can actually convert it into normal text or like this or whatever. So this is not the book, what it looks like. The page is a little bit more yellow, but it's actually like structured it and put it into an easy to understand like kind of way. And look at that, that's from the book again. So you can actually do this when you're reading a book. Look at that, these are quotes from the actual page. It looks like it's part like written here, but it's not. These are just screenshots from the book and I've actually put that in. And I never done this on my computer. This was out while I was traveling um, and uh, reading a book, you know, so these are all the notes I've taken and it synchronizes across different devices. So you can see how I've done that there. So you've got all of these files, as I say, which are notes within the actual drawer. And then you've got the cabinet, which is the stack. So the way to create a stack is if you have like a new notebook, say for example, and I say example uh, purpose, you have this notebook, but first of all, it's exposed. So say we have example purpose and then example two. Yeah, so these are very, very highly related. Well, these are two different notebooks and inside of them, we're gonna have different notes. Yeah, so we might have a note here, which is like, you know, one, and then we had an, another note, which is two. So this is how you can segment everything. Because if I go back, unless I go to all notes where it shows everything from all notebooks, if I were to go here, I'm only gonna see particular notes. Yeah, because if I open up like this, it's only those notes, you can't see one and two. So when we come back here, uh, we need to put these together because they're very highly re related. So what we would do is we go to more actions and then you can either rename your notebook, you can share your notebook, add it to shortcuts, set it as a default or add to stack. So if you click add to stack, what it then allows you to do is you can add it to any of these that you've already created or you can click new stack. So if I say uh, new stack examples and then I have this stack now that's here. So now it looks like this, yeah? And then what we do is it's got one there because it's got one notebook in there, example purpose. So we just do the same for that one as well and we'd add to stack and then we'd add to examples. So now we've got two. And when we open that, this is the filing cabinet. This is the drawers. And then as we go into the drawer, we've got the files. And then we've got all those functionalities and access that I uh, explained earlier. Okay, one of the other things that you can do is tag some of your different notes. Okay. So all you would do to create a tag is you actually click tags, you click new, and then you would go to example or whatever, you know, create that. So if I had example one, we could do that here. And then now it's created a tag. What that allows us to do is put different notes inside of that tag okay so we can sort by tags or by notebooks so on and so forth so if we go down to the bottom you can see you can add tag and you can type a tag that you want to add so example purposes okay and then any note that has this tag we could add to this okay so if we come over to example purposes we can see that any notes that have that are going to all come under here now the only benefit of why you would have this is purely if you have particular notes that are of different categories and you wanna centralize them all in one way. Like if you were doing a project and a particular person was assigned to particular tasks, but it had notes with all in different 
categories, you could centralize that so they can access all of those particular notes in this area. So that's the benefit of using tags. One of the other things you can do with Evernote that's very, very good, and I use it a lot for my YouTube channel, is you can share notes. So we could make this a shareable link and then anyone with that is able to view this. So you can change it to whether the person can view, edit or edit and invite other people as well. And then you can do particular people or you can stop sharing if you no longer want to share it, you can switch that off and the link becomes dead. Okay, now you also have your trash can I believe it's stored for about 30 days I'm not particularly sure on how long that lasts so any of your trash notes will store there and then you've got the shortcut section so the way the shortcut section works is if we're in here and we got this getting started and whatever else we can click these three dots in the top right and then add to shortcuts and what that does is we can easily access it um, without having to look through notes and whatever else when we come into uh, the dashboard okay now one of the other things you can do is you can and segment a bunch of different notes within a given category or whatever else find different things based on the reminders that you have tags that you have or it must contain a certain attachment phone number so on and so forth or was created within a certain time okay so that's very good as well when it was recently updated and then you can also set reminders on these where it will notify you on your desktop or your phone or whatever else and um, if you wanted to remind yourself of a certain note you could set that and then that will go off at that particular time okay so make sure I want to delete that because I don't want that going off um, when I'm on my computer. So I think I've showed you about everything to be honest. You can format the note width, you can print your notes. So if you want to export it as a PDF or anything like that, you could go to more settings and then open in PDF and export as PDF. You could print it off in color or uh, black and white. There's also removing from shortcuts. You could copy the internal link, um, save as a template. So that's how you save as a template. And that is really about it. I think I've taken you through absolutely everything. If any third parties have shared a note with you, then you would see that here in this section. And you can also search your notes as I explained earlier. So if we wanted to uh, come in and find particular words like example, we can easily find anything that has the word example inside of it comes up okay so these are all examples this is the one we just created so on and so forth all right so I hope you got a ton of value from this video if you are brand new to the channel then you may want to consider subscribing and most importantly please smash that like button so this video gets spread out across the whole of youtube okay so evernote is a brilliant service absolutely 10 10 service and um, there's not much i can fault about it and if you are note taking then you need to scrap everything else you're using and use this this is not just for planning i would use something else specifically for planning my days but for anything to do with writing something down this is what i I use okay it's absolutely brilliant and if you are taking training courses and things like that it's even better and the way you can segment everything honestly is just like you can't match it if I go into here we can delete the stack like, let's just delete the entire stack remove stack and then if we take a look at this those two books are now exposed again I'll delete them but uh, if we go to course materials you can see like courses that I've taken and then we've got different areas of this like I mean you know there's tons of information inside of here so honestly highly recommend Ended. and it's not like on because I'm getting a commission or anything like that I just recommend the tool yeah it's brilliant okay see you in the next one thank you for watching